Hey guys, um, I'm back with a, sh a short video. On this one, I'm I'm gonna talk about something that I've, I've added um, to Gex uh, recently, as part of uh, Gex is the game and code name uh, for the game engine I'm working on. Um, now I have a final project coming up in one of my uh, software classes, so I wanted to spruce up um, the engine a bit and add the ability to render text because I already have the ability to render sprites and all that. Um, but it's difficult to make a game if you can't render some bitmap fonts. So I added the ability to render bitmap fonts. So the way that uh, the software works is first you need a uh, this tool. It's called Bitmap Font Generator. It's, it's quite popular um, and it's free. It's under a Zlib license. And what it'll do is it any fonts that are installed on your computer um, you can then load into here and it will generate a a XML file or a text file you can set the export settings and it'll generate a bitmap image um, a PNG um, with alpha uh, for you to use for the rendering um, so what those look like is here is the XML file um, that contains the font info, common, and then all the characters that make up. Now these IDs are the um, the Unicode IDs, uh, so they translate into you know the numbers, special characters, numbers, etc. And here is, in my case, zero uh, four B thirty is is a special font that I installed. Um, this is what it generated for me. Now it doesn't actually generate that layer; it generates that with a PNG, but. So you can see it better. Here are the uh, fonts, the characters. Um, now, Gex itself has a. I writ, wrote a font class that has um, each of these font info, font character, font common structs that just contain the information about uh, all from this. Um, and then what I do is I uh, use Tiny XML, which is a XML library for C++, I read in this XML file and build the font font data into this object. And then my sprite patch takes in that font object um, that's created using my content manager. So what you do is you just pass in the path um, and it'll generate and return to you the uh, font file with all the information. And using that, I just loop through all the characters that are actually um, in this text that I want to draw. I find them from the font map, uh, build a source rectangle. So this is the important part. So what I do is I find the font metrics for each character, um, how big the source rectangle needs to be. And then I, I draw using that. So I really, I couldn't get bitmap font rendering done until I fix the whole source rec uh, rendering from, from a source rectangle um, and the UVs correctly. But let me show you it working. So here is a basic test. The idea was to make it as um, simple to use as, as possible, uh, similar to how XNA does their uh, sprite fonts. Um, so here you go, see it says I, I now can render bitmap fonts. Um, and now I can all, you can also uh, set a color value. So I'll just do, I don't know, um, red. Red's always fine. Actually, orange, red. Um, and let's see that working. Now, in order to do that, though, you need to make sure that the, um, the font is white. Um, with a transparent background so that when you multiply in the color it is just additive and there you go orange bitmap fonts um, so thanks for uh, thanks for watching that's a little update on my game engine um, at some point I will end up doing the whole tutorial thing but uh, I'm really just working on getting stuff um, actually uh, into the engine and working uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.